friends how are you hope everyone is fine and doing great welcome back to my youtube channel withalam academy which is an online learning platform myself bhavesh patel today in this video we will solve chapter number 5 squares and qu square roots question number 1 to 10 of so of international mathematics olympiad it will help you to solve quickly increase your confidence level sharpness and smartness perform better in olympiads and other competitive exams so let's solve one by one first sections mathematical reasoning question number 1 and if under root 2 plus under root x equals to 3 then x equals to blank so let's take square on both the side therefore square root will be removed and it becomes 2 plus root x 3 square becomes 9 therefore root x equals to 9 minus 2 so 7 again take squares on both the side so root x square is x 7 square is 49 therefore answer is d next find the list number which must be subtracted from 4235 to make it a perfect square so that means we have to find the square root of 4235 by long division method so in that what we do we'll make a pair from pair of 2 2 digits so ones and tens hundred ends Thousand. Then we'll start with this forty-two. So six six are thirty-six. Then let's do the subtractions. So forty-two minus thirty-six. That is six. Bring another pair. That is thirty-five. So it becomes six hundred and thirty-five. Now what we'll do? We'll just multiply this six. Twos are so it is twelve. Now let's add the table one twenty one hundred twenty one into one equals to one hundred twenty one. One hundred twenty two into two, so that is two four four. One hundred twenty three into three, so three three is a nine. Twelve three is a thirty six, so three hundred and sixty nine. One hundred twenty four into four, so four four is a sixteen. One carry over four two is a eight plus one that is nine and four. Then one hundred and twenty five into five that is six hundred and twenty five. So let's multiply here by five. So one hundred and twenty five multiplied by five is six hundred and twenty five, and the remainder is zero. Three minus two is one. So remainder is the number that needs to be subtracted from four thousand two hundred and thirty-five minus ten. Then it becomes four hundred and twenty four thousand two hundred twenty-five. This is the perfect square. So ten is the number least number that needs to be subtracted so that sixty-five can become the square root of four thousand two hundred and twenty-five. Next, square root of four plus eighty-one by four hundred equals to a by twenty minus one. So square root. Let's take the LCM four hundred. So four hundred four za sixteen hundred plus eighty-one equals to a by Twenty minus one. Therefore, under root one thousand six hundred eighty-one divided by four hundred equals to a by twenty minus one. Now let's take the square root of one thousand six hundred eighty-one by long division method. Let's find out one thousand six hundred eighty-one. Make a pair. Then start with four. Four four za sixteen. Remainder is zero. Let's double this. So four two za eight. 
let's bring down this pair 81 so just multiply by 1 so 81 ones are 81 the remainder is 0 therefore this is the square root so it is 41 by 20 equals to a by 20 minus 1 so it is a by 20 equals to 41 by 20 minus 1 not minus 1 it is plus 1 and this go this side becomes plus therefore 41 plus 20 by 20 equals to 61 by 20 therefore a equals to 61 so answer is c next which of the following is not a perfect square 6084 so let's find out with the long division method in each options so 6084 make a pair so 7 7 za 49 8 8 za 64 therefore 7 7 za so here it is 1 1 1 1184 let's double this 7 so 7 becomes 14 and i want here 4 so 8 8 za 64 so let us 148 into 8 8 8 za 64 so 4 6 carry over 8 4 za 32 32 plus 6 38 so 8 here 3 carry over 8 1 za 8 plus 3 so 11 so 148 8 za 1184 remainder is 0 so 78 is the square root of 6084 so this is not the answer let us check for option b same long division method 15625 so make a pair so start with 1 1 1 za 1 subtractions so it is 0 bring down one pair that is 56 here will double so 2 then 24 4 za 22 2 za 22 2 za 44 then 23 3 za 69 so we'll go for 2 so 22 2 za 44 let's do the subtraction so here it is 2 here it is 1 bring down 25 another pair so here we'll double so 12 becomes 24 and i want here 5 so just multiply by 5 245 multiplied by 5 so 5 5 is a 25 2 carry over 5 2 is a 20 plus 2 5 5 is a 25 carry over 2 5 4 is a 20 plus 2 so 22 again carry 2 5 2 is a 10 plus 12 2 is so it becomes 12 so remainder is 0 so this is also perfect square perfect square root you know 15625 is the square root of 125 let's find out this so it is 26894 make a pair start with 1 so 1 1 is a 1 subtraction so 1 is the remainder 68 here we'll make it 2. Now 168, 21 ones are 21, 22 two are 44, 23 three are 69, 24 fours are 96, 25 five is 125, 26 six are 156, 27 sevens are 189, that means 6. It is 156. Now remainder 2. 1 bring down 94 another pair so here we'll make it 32 now 32 and here 4 so either 2 so 322 into 2 so 4 4 12 ah, 3 to the 6 644 okay we'll go for further 323 into 3 9 3 to the 6 3 3 is a 9. Let's go for further. 324 multiplied by 4. 4 4 is a 16. 1 carry over. 4 2 is a 8. 8 plus 1, 9. And 4 3 is a 12. 1296 while it is 94. Therefore, this is not the perfect square. So, answer is C. Let's cross check again for D. 
10,404 make a pair. So one ones are one. Subtract one. So answer is zero. Bring the pair zero four. Here it is one. Correct. So one. Uh, we here it is two. Then four. So twenty one ones are. So it is zero. So now again zero four. Correct. Now what we have to do? We have to multiply by here. Here it is zero. So two zero. 2, 202, 2's are 404, remainder is 0, therefore 102 is the square root of 10,404, 10,404, 404, so this is also not the answer, it is a perfect square. Next, a number is multiplied by 2 whole 1 by 3 times itself and then 61 is subtracted from the product obtained. If the final result is 9200 then the number is that is a number is x. A number is multiplied by 2 1 by 3 so this is multiplied times itself so x and then subtracted 61 equals to 9200. So this is your equation, correct? Now just simplify. So this is three to the six, six plus one, seven, seven by three x square equals to nine, two, six, one. Therefore x square equals to 9261 into three divided by seven, seven, 1s are 7, then 2, 20, 22, 7, 3s are 21, 16, 7, 2s are 14, 21, 3. So it is 1,323 into 3. So 1,323 into 3. So it is 9, 3, 2s are 6, 3, 3s are 9, 3, 3. Therefore, x equals to under root of 3969. Let us find out the square root of 3969 by making pair. So first we will start with 6. 6, 6 are 36. So it is 3. Then bring down the another pair. So th number becomes 369. Here it is 6 to the 12. Now I want 3, so 123 into 3. So 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 2 is a 6, 3, 3 is a 1. Remainder is 0, so 63 is the square root. So answer is 63. B. Next. The product of two numbers is 1296. If one number is 16 times the other, then find the numbers. So it means one number is x, second number is 16x and product is 1296. Let's check the option. See 9 and 144. Correct? So 16 nines are 16 nines are is 144. Correct? Second 8 and 128. So 16 8s are 128, correct. 16 12s are 192, correct. Now let us see the product 9 4s are 36. So 4, 3 carry over 9 4s are 36 plus 3, 9, 9 1, 9 4s are 36 plus 3, 39. So 3, 3 carry over 9 1s are 9 plus 3, 1, 2, 9, 6. So answer is A. Here 8 is a 60. Four. So 4, 6 carry over 8 to the 16, 16 plus 6, 16 plus 6 is 22. So 2, 2 carry over 8, 1 is 8 plus 2, 10. Not the answer. The product is not 1296. Let's check here. 12, 2 is 24, 4, 2 carry over 12, 9 is 108 plus 2, 110, 0, 11. 12, 1 is 12 plus 11. So 12, 1 is 12 plus 11 is 23. So 2304. Not the answer. Answer is A. 
However, if you want to check, we can check like this x into 16x equals to 1296. Therefore, x square equals to 1296 by 16. So 16 eights are 128. And 129 minus 128 means 1. So 16, 16 ones are. Therefore, x equals to 9. If x equals to 9, second number is 16 nines are. That is the second number. So one number is 9, second number is 144. Therefore, answer is A. But without doing these calculations, also we can get the answers from the MC, uh, options. Next. The least positive integer with which 661.25 should be multiplied so that the product is a perfect square. So we have to do factorizations of so 661.25 means 660, if I remove the decimal, uh, decimal point, it becomes 66,125 by 100. Let's factorize this, 6,625 start with 5, so 13 fives are 65, so 1 to 2, 5 to the 10, 12 to 2, 25, 5, again go for 5. So it's 5 to the 10, 32. So 32 means 6. Again 2, 22. So 4. Again 5. So 5. Again go for 5. 5, 5 is a. That is 25. Then 26 minus 25 is 1. So 14. 14 means 5. 5, 3 is a. 4, 4, 5, 2 is a. And then 529. Correct. Now 529, if let us find out the, you know, square root of 529. So here it is 2, here it is 2, 2 to the 4, 129, here it is 4. And if I want, I will multiply by 3, 43 3's are, 3 3's are 9, 4 3's are 12. So therefore it is 23, 23, so 23. So factors of 66,125 is 5 into 5 square into 23 square by 100 square. Therefore it is 5 into 5 into 23 by 10 whole square. So if I want to make this you know, uh, perfect square, what I will do, I will just multiply by 5, so that this becomes 5 square, therefore answer is B. Next, the square root of 11,664 divided by 10,000, correct, up to two decimal places. So first, we know the square root of this is 100. 10,000 square root is 100, correct? It is 100 square. So let us find out square root of 11,664. So make a pair like this. We'll start with 1. 1 ones are 1. So 0. Here it is 2. And I want 6. Bring down the pair, 16. So if I even multiply by 1, 21 ones are 21. So that means 0. So here it is 0. Now bring down another pair, 64. So I will put multiply by 8. So 8 is a 64 and 8 to the 16. So remainder is 0. So 108 is the square root of square root of 11664 divided by 10000 square root of 11664 is 108 108 and square root of 10000 is 100 now just place the decimal point 1.08 so answer is a next value of under root 610 so just 610 plus 2 under root 212 plus under root 169. Now, if you see here without doing any calculation, just see the options. See 25, 20, 18, 12. So 
this 20 square is 400 correct now here already 610 plus something 610 plus something that means this value is greater than 400 so answer is 25 it is more than 20 the answer is 25 that's the smartness is required in all of that however if you want to solve let's solve so 610 plus under root 212 plus under root 169 so that is 13 again 610 plus 212 plus 13 that is under root 225 so square root of 225 is how much 15 so it is square root of 625 that is 25 answer already I got next if the three numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 7 so that sum of their squares is 1184 their square sum find the numbers respectively so here options 12 16 28 if I divide it by 4 this becomes 3 is to 4 is to 7 here if I divide by 4 it becomes 7 is to 3 is to 4 this cannot be if I divide here again it is 7 is to 4 is to 3 cannot be 4 is to 3 is to 7 cannot be respectively so answer is A no need to calculate that's the smartness however if you want to understand let us understand 3x 4x and 7x are the number now the sum of their square that means 9x square plus 16x square plus 49x square equals to 1184 just add up that is 9x square plus 16x square plus 49x square equals to 74x square equals to 1184 therefore x square equals to 1184 divided by 74 so 74 twos of 7 twos are 14 that means 74 ones are so 74 so now 118 minus 74 4 and 4 then again 4 so 17 74 fours are this is 44 and bring this 4 so Oh, that is 74 ones are and then 74 six are six fours are 24 17 six are 42 plus 2 that is 42 uh, 44 so 4 4 4 that means it is 16 so x equals to 4 x equals to 4 therefore first number is 4 3 is a 12 second number is 16 third number is 28 so option is a that already we got without doing any cal calculations so that's all about the solutions of question number 1 to 10 chapter number 5 squares and square root of sof international mathematics olympiad once again myself bhavesh patel from vittalam academy for any query doubt suggestions you can reach us via mail our mail id is vittalam academy at the gmail.com that is V I W T H A L M A C A D E M Y at the rate gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.